Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the so-called black women and girls, the daughters of the Most High, that are being murdered on a daily basis, and the fact that thousands of our sisters and daughters go missing every year. I was surprised by these numbers, and I think you might be too. Researching this story made me sad, not only for the victims, and the victims' family and friends that are grieving the loss of their loved ones, and the fact that we are at war, and most of our people. The chosen people of the Most High has no knowledge or understanding of this fact. So if you are interested in watching more, definitely stay tuned and subscribe. Did you know that at least four of the so-called black women and girls were murdered per day in just the United States in 2020? And according to statistics released by the FBI, there is a sharp increase compared with the year before. Tens of thousands of the so-called black women and girls go missing every year. Last year, that figure was nearly 100,000, yet their cases hardly ever grab national headlines. The FBI says that firearms, especially handguns, were the most common weapons used by males to murder our so-called black females. When the murder weapon could be identified, 64% of so-called black female victims were shot and killed with guns. Within that group, 70% were killed with a handgun. The FBI said that they recorded at least 405 additional murders of our sisters and daughters as homicides surged across the country. And experts cautioned that even that stark number probably represents an undercount of our women and girls that are being murdered daily. I think that it is safe to say that the numbers that we are given is an undercount. And this release of the data is just the latest reminder that violence against the so-called black women and girls often goes ignored. It should be a public priority and a loud outcry, but it is not. What is upsetting is that a lot of cases of the so-called African-American people aren't taken too seriously. They say that when a so-called black woman dies in America under suspicious circumstances, their death is statistically less likely to be solved than someone of any other nation. Police in 52 of the state's largest cities arrested someone 63% of the time in the killings of white victims. But in the killings of the so-called black victims, police made an arrest just 47% of the time. Of the 26,000 unsolved killings in these cities, between the years of 2008 and 2018, more than 18,600 of the victims were so-called black. There is a group called our black girls, and this group shines a light on all of the often untold stories of the so-called black women and girls who have gone missing or, in some cases, were found dead under mysterious circumstances. Our black girls is the name of the website. In so many of the stories, the victims are walking down the street or they're going to the store, or they said that they will be right back and they just disappear. It has happened to millions of our so-called black women and girls. There are many blogs and organizations that focus on our missing people, the daughters of the Most High. These websites provide a fuller picture of who these missing so-called black women and girls are and how much she is loved based on the information from their family and friends. I will leave the links to these blogs and organizations on the page down below. Sometimes, victims' loved ones will reach out to these groups to express their gratitude after seeing the post of their loved one being missing. Often, they're frustrated by their local police department's lack of action and are just grateful that someone, somewhere, has noticed and cares enough about the women and daughters of our nation. Other people reach out because they're surprised because they had never heard of a case, even though it is something that happened right in their town. Our so-called black women and girls go missing at high rates, but that isn't reflected in news coverage of missing persons cases. In 2020, of the 268,884 of women and girls who were reported missing, 90,333, or nearly 34% of them, were so-called black. According to the National Crime Information Center, the so-called black women and girls account for only about 15% of the U.S. female population, according to census data. In contrast, the so-called white women and girls, which includes those who identify as Hispanic, made up 59% of the missing, while accounting for 75% of the overall female population. In light of these numbers, the disproportionate media attention on missing so-called white women and girls is glaring. Often described as missing white woman syndrome, the term made headlines and it put a spotlight on. The so-called Native American people that made up 21% of homicide victims in Wyoming between 2000 and 2020 
despite being less than 3% of the state's population. The disparity can be seen in the media. Only 18% of indigenous female victims received news coverage. However, among the so-called white victims, 51% were in the news. We as the so-called black people will never get the same attention as the so-called white victims. And we will never have our sisters' and daughters' lives honored in the same ways because we are in the land of our captivity. We as the chosen people of the Most High are still in slavery. And we need to understand that we are still in a land with our enemies. The police, the FBI, and all of these other agencies will never investigate our missing and murdered women and girls. The same way, they will never bring that same energy to solve our cases. The Bureau and all of these organizations know. They see the numbers. They know that 100,000 of our women and girls go missing every year. Our oppressors will never search for the so-called black women and girls as much or as hard as they do for the so-called white women and girls. And our tormentors will never make sure that whatever energy that they place into one case is the same energy that they will place into the women and girls of our nation. It will never happen in the land of our captivity. And trying to bring that awareness to our enemies is a waste of time. They know these numbers, the FBI. The police, all of the forces and powers can even tell you that the numbers of our women and daughters that are missing and being murdered, they will tell you that the numbers are the highest that they have ever seen, at the rate of four or more of our women and girls that are being murdered per day, and the thousands or more women and girls that go missing every year. Shouldn't we be hearing about these cases? I take the time to watch the news every day, because I need to know what my enemies want me to think and I don't hear about these cases. We have to understand why this is happening to our people, our sisters, and our daughters. We have to turn away from the ways of this wicked world and return to our Father, our power. We have to learn to live our lives following His laws, statutes, and His commandments. We have to live our lives trying to please our Father. We have to start acting like we are in the land of our captivity and that we are living amongst our enemies. We are the daughters of the highest, and that makes us the standard of beauty. We are the chosen people. No one can take that away from us. The Most High is our power. Our Father is the creator of the heavens and the earth. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.